Good morning everyone, welcome to Civil Tech Platform. This is third lecture in the series of uh, construction technology and today we are going to cover second chapter and syllabus for the second chapter is on your screen. We have to study about uh, site investigation, objective of site investigation, site resonance, site exploration. Okay, and yet if you have not subscribed then do it and press the bell icon for the notification purpose of new videos. So today we are going to talk about site investigation. Ke ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ साइट इन्वेस्टिगेशन साइट रेजोनेंस साइट एक्सप्लोरेशन ये सारे टर्म्स को हम लोग समझने वाले हैं कि इन टर्म्स का मतलब क्या होता है एंड व्हाई साइट इन्वेस्टिगेशन इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिफोर सेटअपिंग और बिफोर कंस्ट्रक्टिंग एनी ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर एनी ऑफ द सिविल इंजीनियरिंग स्ट्रक्चर तो अगर हम लोग साइट इन्वेस्टिगेशन को देखेंगे तो अ सॉइल इन्वेस्टिगेशन और साइट इन्वेस्टिगेशन प्रोग्राम इज नेसेसरी टू प्रोवाइड इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर डिजाइन एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर द and for environmental assessment. Okay, so if you talk about any structure, we have studied in the last class that there is a structure, whether it is a load-bearing structure or an RCC frame structure. You can see that in a load-bearing structure or RCC frame structure. Finally, the total building and the total structure is transferred to the soil. It is transferred to the soil strata. So, all the dead loads and live loads uh, transferred through columns, through walls uh, to the foundation and foundation distribute the total load to the soil strata, subsoil strata. So, we have to design any structure to design any structure, we have to know this idea idea whether that particular soil or whether that particular land where we are going to construct that building is either safe or not, means the total load, whatever will be, the total dead load and the total live load, that will be bearable or not. So ये इस बारे में आइडिया होना चाहिए। So for that purpose, what we do, we go with the site investigation. And site investigation is not only for the, in not only for the, not only for collecting data regarding this soil and regarding the foundation, but also कि किसी भी particular area में, किसी भी particular region में जब आप construction करते हो, तो वहाँ पे all भी और भी दूसरी क्या necessity है, materials की क्या availability है। और हम लोग सॉइल को कैसे टेस्ट करेंगे सॉइल को टेस्ट करने के बाद आइडर डेट सॉइल इस सुटेबल और नॉट सॉइल का कौन सा कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स है दिस ऑल थिंग्स इस बेसिकली एनालाइज्ड अंदर अंडर दिस साइट इन्वेस्टिगेशन साइट इन्वेस्टिगेशन के बाद ही किसी साइट को फाइनलाइज किया जाता है डेट आइडर दिस साइट uh, so the first purpose is to evaluate the general suitability of site for the proposed project. So first of all, what we uh, what we do, we just uh, we just arrange we just uh, arrange proper uh, um, things uh, in 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 a way to uh, get a suitable testing uh, a testing region. हम लोग क्या करते हैं सबको arrange करते हैं और arrange करके एक suitability provide करते हैं अरे किसी भी testing के लिए और हम लोग ये judge करते हैं कि हमारा जो site है is that site suitable for the particular proposed project or not? Uh, second is to enable uh, an adequate and economical design to be made. So, uh, uh, we have to know that when we go to design a particular building, uh, any class of building, as we have already studied about class of building, so uh, that class of building decides its uh, exterior and its interior structure. So, uh, depending upon the exterior and interior structure and the uh, importance of building, उस बिल्डिंग के डिजाइन को इकोनॉमिक बनाने के लिए इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी मस्ट हैव टू प्रोवाइड अ मिनिमम एंड अ वेरी चीप फाउंडेशन फॉर दैट सो दैट अगर आपका फाउंडेशन चीप होगा फाउंडेशन बेस्ट होगा आप कम से कम कॉस्ट में अगर फाउंडेशन प्रिपेयर करते हो और कम से कम फाउंडेशन फाउंडेशन प्रोवाइड करके आपका स्ट्रक्चर अगर स्टेबल होता है इन दैट केस वी कैन से दैट पर्टिकुलर डिजाइन विल बी इकोनॉमिकल क्योंकि आप आप अगर एक्सटीरियर व्यू को आप अगर एक्सटीरियर एस्थेटिक पर्पज से जो बिल्डिंग कंस्ट्रक्ट कर रहे हो आप बाहर के आउटलुक को चेंज नहीं कर सकते आप बाहर के स्ट्रक्चर के जो डिज़ाइन है उसको चेंज नहीं कर सकते इन दैट केस द ओनली थिंग वॉट यू कैन हैम्पर इज द फाउंडेशन सो इफ अननेसेसरली यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग अ डेप द फाउंडेशन वेरी एक्स्ट्रा फाउंडेशन सो इट विल इट विल समहाउ इंक्रीज द टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ दैट स्ट्रक्चर so to reduce this one and to provide a very economical design uh, this site investigation is very important to disclose the uh, and make provision for difficulties and that may arising during construction 
first of all we must have some idea about that particular land where we are going to investigate where where we are going to construct a particular building so uh, before starting the construction uh, we must have idea about uh, that things which will come as a hurdle in the uh, while constructing a building while constructing a structure so we must have idea about difficulties whatever will come while construction so uh, for this purpose also this site investigation is done so this is about site investigation and purpose of site investigation if we come with the objective of site investigation then we say that uh, to assess the general suitability of the site with the proposed work so first of all uh, to provide general suitability ab ye general suitability kya hota hai ki either that site is suitable for not uh, for that particular structure or not to ye general suitability check karne ke liye humko koi investigation karna padta hai to help produce a design which is adequate and economic uh, first of all let me ask you uh, some question suppose you are having a very good strata aapke paas ek bahut acha soil hai bahut acha land hai and you have not investigated and you have designed with a very safety concern aapne bahut zyada foundation depth design kar liya aapne bahut zyada foundation provide kar diya in that case what will happen unnecessarily the cost of structure will go high so uh, to just manage this things hum log kya karte hain hum log ek adequate design or economic structure ke liye hum logo ko sabse pehle site investigation karna padta hai okay next to help overcome possible difficulties and delay this may arise during construction period due to ground and other local condition there are not only one thing what we will in, in, investigate during site investigation but there are a lot of things lot of hurdles what will come first of all when you are going to construct a building or construct a particular structure then you must have idea about uh, the material the availability of material the way of transportation and different things different circumstances labor uh, cost labor uh, availability so these things also hamper somehow the construction and its uh, time period time time of construction so uh, when you go to site investigation you will have idea about these things so there will be no delay during the construction period and you will also be known with the local conditions local availability local resources so that this will be very helpful to the construction next is to to predict possible changes that may cause of all changes in site investigation Uh, so this is about uh, some possible changes uh, because when we design a particular building uh, sub, uh, when you uh, be a site engineer and think just suppose you have designed a particular building you have got a particular design and you have to just implement that design in a uh, in that site then in that case what will happen when you will go to uh, construct that building after at the time of layout uh, if you will have some hurdle some kind of problems with uh, uh that particular that particular layout then there you can you can go with some changes also what kinds of changes uh, suppose uh, i'm i'm giving you one example you are going to construct a building and uh, you have just uh, gone with the foundation uh, with the pit one then you will uh, uh, then you will see that you are having some issues with the uh, pit uh, and you are having um, issues while digging or while extracting soil so in that case you can shift up your particular uh, your particular design or you 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 can shift up your particular process of working so these things comes only when you will go to the site investigation and somehow site is very minutely analyzed while constructing a building so to maximize the potential of the site so what is what is basically potential when uh, when we want to analyze uh, the potential or the total Uh, the total uh, outcome from that particular building so the outcome for a construction company depends upon uh, the revenue so it will somehow uh, if you will have a very economical site if you the potential of uh, working if the potential of labor potential of materials will be high and everything will be easily available and the process of construction will be easy in that case the potential of that particular construction will be high and the revenue will automatically increase so this is about objective this is about objective of site investigation but if we just want to understand this objective then it is not um, basically completed in a single uh, step there are multiple steps involved in the in that particular investigation so we will study about each of the step in details and we will just understand the concept what is just behind this particular site investigation so uh, the site investigation phases we can divide it in uh, in a number of phases so in the first phase 
a collection of prelim preliminary information so what are the preliminary information obtain information regarding the type of structure to be built and its general use a general idea of topography and types of soil uh, geological survey map so uh, when you uh, when we have studied survey uh, surveying then we have idea about uh, this uh, topographical map and this uh, uh, geological survey map this decides actually the region uh, the basically topography of the region and this topography of region decides many things like environment like availability of water table and different things de depends upon this uh, geological survey map and topographical map and somehow the way of transportation the uh, basically uh, different things what will be available after the completion of structure and its uses uh, these things is basically just in the first one first phase which is preliminary information so um, when we will um, these things actually varies according to the site according to the structure what we are going to construct if the structure what we are going to construct is very uh, is very uh, related to somehow uh, public and related to um, suppose we are going to construct a public building in that case we cannot we cannot provide we cannot use uh, a land a piece of land where the where the topography and where the this geological survey map is uh, very uh, difficult and it is very far away and to provide a proper uh, transportation facility to that particular site is uh, very um, very difficult so in that case uh, we cannot use that particular site for the construction purpose this is very uh, preliminary things what i am telling you and depending upon the local circumstances and local availability of uh, local availability of land and different materials and also on the cost of particular land it may varies so this is about phase one and while i am just explaining each of the things you can note down in your copy so it will be beneficial for your exam purpose so what about phase two it is resonance so uh, when we when we go with resonance as you have already studied about resonance survey what is resonance uh, to collect a rough data about that particular site what about rough data suppose you have, you have gone for the construction you have gone for the site visit and uh, for the in the first step you will have to analyze that how much area will be needed for that particular construction so uh, just by stepping or just by uh, different uh, irregular method you just collect a very uh, rough data about that particular site so this all comes under resonance so in the in this phase the engineer should always make a visual inspection of site means just by visiting just by viewing the site where we are you are going to construct so you must have some idea you you have to collect data just by without any proper measurement so to provide general picture of the topography and geology of the site without any uh, without any proper without any um, accurate data without any map when you will visualize the site and you will get some information that how our work will be started here so these things come under resonance and basically in the first visit when an engineer goes to a site and visit uh, a land for the construction so in that step this uh, resonance is basically done now about uh, site resonance uh, phase 3 site investigation phase 3 in phase 3 what we do uh, consist of planning making uh, taste uh, bore holes and collecting soil samples uh, for a 30.5 mm wide building depending upon the number of story uh, 3.5 to uh, 24 meter depth uh, boring can be made uh, for a multi-story building borehole spacing is 10 to 30 meter uh, the exploration cost is generally uh, 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 percent of the total cost of the structure so this is very important this is not about that particular resonance uh, when you have already uh, done the preliminary survey when you have completed your resonance survey and now you have to investigate the samples the soil sample basically so for, the, for collecting that soil sample or for just analyzing that soil that whether your structure will be stable in that particular building or not what we do we just analyze we just analyze the soil sample there are different methods of analyzing and uh, here the methods explain to you that if we want to construct a building uh, of uh, 30.5 meter wide and depending upon the number of story that may vary from 1 to 5 uh, a borehole of 3.5 meter to 24 meter deep can be made uh, so just to understand this concept i am going to draw one figure in front of you which will give you a better idea about this so let me draw first then i will just give you a better understanding 
so as you can see here that if i will draw under dog diagram if i will draw you have a site uh, you have a site uh, let me draw first uh, you are having a site like this okay and the width of the site uh, the width of the site is uh, from one side is 30.5 meter so it is 30.5 meter in that case so you will have to uh, do this bore holes to uh, find out the bottom strata and depending upon the storage depending upon the story of building it is one story two story three story four story we will have to go uh, to a depth of 3.5 meter to 24 meter deep okay and the spacing between bore holes uh, would be 20 to 30 meter, 10 to 30 meter means the spacing between these two bore holes will be uh, 10 to 30 meter so now the question what will come in your mind that what is bore hole so we will uh, we will uh, see it in the next uh, slide and in the next phases that how we just calculate how we just explore the soil so this will go ahead this will uh, this is ahead and we will understand about it now uh, the exploration cost is generally 0.1 to uh, 0.5%. It means that suppose you have constructed a building of 10,000 rupees, of 10,000 rupees. Uh, I'm just giving you one example. No one, no building will be constructed in this amount. So you have just constructed a building, and the total cost of building, the total estimated cost of building is 10,000 rupees. So for that, uh, the cost, the cost of uh, soil exploration. Uh, this should be 10,000 into 0 0.1 it means you can say that the total cost of that particular uh, construction um, should vary from uh, 1,000 to you know, 5,000 rupees uh, not more than that so uh, this is uh, this is about uh, this is about just soil exploration and uh, we have uh, studied about this investigation this is phase 3 first of all we will go with exploration uh, preliminary survey then we will go uh, with uh, uh, soil uh, site resonance then we will go this with with this uh, site investigation now going ahead we can see in the fourth step what we have to do we have to just write down a step a clear description of soil at the site that what is uh, the type of soil present there what is the depth at which we are getting hard strata method of uh, exploration which method we have used for the exploration soil profile and testing methods and result and the location of groundwater and this, this basically this groundwater is uh, located by uh, showing a line of groundwater table and this uh, provides a very important data regarding the construction because if the groundwater table will be at very low depth so in that case we will have to uh, the cost of getting water and the cost of uh, water obtaining from for, for that site will be high and the total cost total construction cost not only the total construction cost but also the maintenance and running cost of that particular structure will go high so these are the things what we generally mention in the report and depending upon this report the total cost of exploration and the total cost of uh, construction is obtained by office work so this is about uh, site investigation phases now we will go uh, with the fourth step and what is our fourth step in the fourth step we have to uh, give information about uh, information or explanation about uh, soil types that is any uh, unusual soil water um, bearing stratum uh, soil and groundwater condition they uh, that may be uh, troublesome during construction so these things must be included uh, while we just go to sign, uh, site investigate and we just provide data regarding this site investigation after after providing all this data uh, now we have to understand about soil exploration soil, soil exploration or we can say site exploration method so um, what is basically exploration we will have to understand it first suppose uh, you are you are just uh, you have just gone to just um, uh, have a resonance uh, resonance survey of a particular site then uh, there are all things whatever is present on the ground earth you can uh, you can get some data you can get some idea about that but uh, soil inside uh, soil uh, soil layer inside the ground earth will not be obtained by this resonance survey so uh, for getting a very uh, cheap and best and for getting a very good uh, foundation and uh, um, it depends upon the soil substrata and this soil substrata is basically obtained and the type of soil what is uh, inside that particular ground earth is obtained by soil exploration so there are different methods for the exploration of soil 
and the methods of soil exploration is on your screen it is a taste pits method boreholes method probes or in situ, in -situ test and uh, geophysical uh, the choice of uh, method depends upon budget sampling requirements extent of investigation and site condition so this either we will go with this uh, taste pits method or we will go with boreholes method we will go with this in situ test it depends upon that how much budget we have for the particular uh, exploration purpose and uh, what is the basic requirement of soil sampling and the extent of investigation that up to what extent we want to just investigate the soil and site condition so these are the things depending upon which the method of soil exploration is chosen and when we will just uh, choose a particular method for the investigation of soil so we will go with each of the method in details we will study about it so my first method is uh, taste pits and uh, in this method uh, because this is very cheap and cheap method of investigation uh, to shallow depth uh, and uh, the depth of uh, the depth of exploration is basically 4 meter to 5.5 uh, meter depth allows visual uh, inspection of strata limitation is what uh, it provides us undistributed sampling uh, difficult collapse in granular uh, granular soil or uh, below ground water table so i have just uh, we have just seen it that what is stairs pits and what is basically done uh, we will understand it by the diagram which is uh, in our next slide so this method is basically known as stairs pits method as you can see that for this method for the exploration of site what we do we just go uh, with a hole uh, we just dip a hole on the ground earth and after dipping the hole this is basically for uh, the kind of foundation the shallow depth foundation and after just going with the hole uh, we can get the soil hard strata that up to which uh, depth we are getting the hard strata and also it gives us idea about uh, that um, when we will get the hard strata either we are getting or not and if you are not getting then we will have to go with the deep foundation so these things uh, is generally being cleared in this method and the method of exploration is very cheap we, uh, we don't need any uh, specific instrument for this particular soil exploration method and one more thing that if you will have granular soil granular soil means what the soil the type of soil where uh, cohesive property of soil is very less in that case uh, what happens the soil gets uh, eroded uh, while we just go uh, with the pits so after erosion uh, we uh, we gets a lot of difficulty while just exploring uh, this uh, particular pits and um, this meta method has also one benefit that we generally get a, a visual uh, visual uh, just investigation of particular strata because after just uh, excavation we can get a particular strata level of strata that either this is hard or not and we can use this level uh, as our foundation or not so these things are basically uh, cleared in by this taste pits method and for the construction of uh, a building with low story and and for the building what we have for, for what we have the budget is low we can go with this particular side kind of soil exploration okay so now we will go ahead with our next one uh, which is uh, basically uh, exploratory uh, boring in the field so this is about as we have just discussed uh, up, um, here that we will have to uh, explore the soil we will have to uh, do this exploration by either taste pits method which we have already seen now and the next method is boreholes so there are many ways uh, to just get this boreholes and there are many equipments depending upon the budget depending upon the nature of soil and depending upon the situation we can use different kinds of uh, instrument for the boreholes so first is um, exploratory borings in the field is uh, hand auger it is uh, very cheap uh, but slow method uh, used for simple investigation that is house foundation and where access would otherwise be difficult undistributed sampling is very difficult here so the first method is hand aga so first of all i will have to explain you that what is aga so as you can see in your next diagram uh, this one this one what we just rotate and uh, manually we just go to a depth of soil uh, to explore it so this is uh, known as hand aga and by this method we, we can we can use this method for the construction for the construction of building uh, for exploration of soil where the, where the building will be constructed with low uh, foundation shallow foundation and we don't need to uh, we have no need to just explore the soil 
of uh, deep depth so in that case we can use this hand dagger this is about hand dagger where we need less depth we can use it now you can see uh, the next one which is agar bori so uh, it is basically done by machineries and for the depth for the depth uh, high depth and when we go with this uh, when we go with piling and when we when we go with the construction of building with uh, multi story then we need to explore the soil uh, with a very deep uh, depth and in that case what we use we use this agar bori this is not very uh, this is not very uh, different from this hand agar but you can see that in this method what we do we do the same uh, process but this time the exploration or this agar is used used by mechanical instrument and by rotating it by um, any any of the mechanical instrument what we do we just use this agar system so this is about agar boring now if we will go ahead with the different uh, other uh, types of boring then we can see uh, it is wash boring it is rotatory boring and it is uh, percussion boring so we will go with uh, one by one with uh, all these uh, methods so first is wash boring what is wash boring we can see here a casting about 2 to 3 meter long uh, uh, is uh, a casing more than 2 to 3 meter long is driven uh, into the ground the soil inside the casing is removed by means of chopping bit attached to the drill rod uh, water is forced through uh, the drilling rod and exist uh, at a very high velocity uh, through the holes at the bottom in the chopping bit water uh, the water and the chopped soil particles rise uh, in the drill hole and overflow at the top of the casting through a t connection so this is just i have just read it and you have to you, when you will see the diagram you will understand it in a very clear way so this is about uh, wash boring the same thing is written here you can note down because th this is very important and generally done uh, at site and generally the question what will what will be asked to you is uh, wash boring rotatory boring so i have explained it in a very clear way now you can see its diagram that what we do we basically provide a uh, uh, we can see and that what we use here uh, is a, a very a casing with a very chopping bit and a drilling rod and the water is forced when just we uh, as we can see that, that this one uh, using a rope or any a mechanical uh, uh, rope uh, we we just when when we put this one uh, inside the uh, inside the particular hole what we have done then after uh, after using the jet water jet what happens uh, the soil uh, gets dissolved and it comes out and we get to the strata of soil where it where we basically need it so this method of exploration is generally done and uh, this is very common and the cost of this uh, method is also lesser than other other uh, different types of uh, types of rotatory boring and other other types of boring so in the second one we can see this rotatory boring here what we do basically we use a mechanical instrument and using the mechanical instrument this one uh, this one rotates and go through uh, through a deep depth of soil and it explore the soil also after exploring the soil uh, we can start our construction we can start our piling from this particular hole bore what we have got so this is about uh, rotatory boring basically you have to see the diagram you have to you, you have to see the picture and you have to understand you have to made a clear concept about different kinds of boring because when you will be on site and you will have that particular instrument what is being used then it will be very helpful to you to understand that what types of boring it is and how it is basically used and what are the purpose uh, for for the particular boring what you are doing so now we will go with the in situ testing what is in situ testing you you can understand it in like uh, when we just explore soil or when we go with some test uh, with a particular soil uh, in lab in lab and we explore different uh, physical characteristics of soil then it comes under this uh, in situ testing as it is written here in some cases the data obtained from sampling and laboratory testing is less reliable and uh, those uh, form uh, in situ testing uh, moreover sampling can be uh, can be more expensive uh, than in situ testing or uh, sounding and therefore the program of sampling uh, may be planned in combination with in situ testing common types of uh, field testing include standard penetration test cone penetration test well shear test pressure meter test and uh, delo uh, dilatometer test so these are the test and as this uh, method as this in situ testing is basically uh, costlier than others so 
uh, as per the reliability as per the availability of cost and as per the uh, need that either we we have to go with the exploratory one or we have to go with the simple data what we are just obtaining on site so, uh, we do our different types of boring and we use uh, the for it uh, we use it for the construction purpose uh, so this is all about exploration what we do what we we just go for the exploration of site and we do play preliminary survey then we, we go with resonance after resonance we, uh, we just go with soil inspection so after soil inspection we make a report and we provide full information about site to the particular design engineer and that is design engineer des decides that uh, what kinds of structure what kinds of foundation we have to uh, provide so that the construction will be very efficient and also after the construction uh, we have we can estimate uh, we can estimate overall uh, the total cost of construction uh, with exploring uh, site in a proper way so this was all about exploration uh, we will go uh, with foundation in the next lecture if you have not subscribed then do it and press the bell icon for the notification purpose or any of the doubt you have then you can write in the comment box so that I will just give you uh, a proper idea and you can directly ask to me. My contact number is there also when you will open this uh, particular channel then at the right side uh, you will get a link of my Facebook account. There you can also send a text message so that we can get connected and you can ask me anything related to this particular site investigation. If this is uh, helpful for you then share it with your friends uh, pursuing their diploma or B.Tech in civil engineering so um, this will be good for them also. Thank you so much.